Diary Hello, it's the middle of September 2021 and this is an inside look at the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 15 ALC6. So this is the sixth generation AMD unit 2021 version. This is the 15 inch laptop and this has got a, a, an AMD 5700U chip in it. The purpose of the video is to show you all the insides and I'll put an associated set of higher resolution still photographs on the uh, diary article on WordPress. Okay, so one of the reasons for buying this laptop, apart from the inexpensive nature of the laptop, is that amazingly, if you're listening Apple, some of these internal components are easily upgradable. So... I'm going to point those components out. Again, this is the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 15 ALC6. This is the AMD 2021 version. This is a build to order laptop. In other words, you can select things that you want. For example, a larger battery here, which takes up the space that would be available for a, a second hard drive. So if you order the standard unit, the battery would end here. And there's a space here for a hard drive. I'm guessing there's a SATA connector somewhere which you can't usefully use anymore. But this is the larger battery, and therefore you don't have that SATA bay. Next, you'll notice we've got a NVMe SSD, which is sitting here, with a screw here, and the, the pin out here to remove the drive. And thirdly, you've got a single uh, SO DIMM slot here. So this is an eight gigabyte uh, SO DIMM. It'll take up to 16. So there's eight on the motherboard right now. And this has got an eight. So the total at the moment is 16. So um, if I feel generous, I can upgrade that to 16 plus eight, i.e. 24. And finally, we've got a combined um, Bluetooth and, and Wi-Fi module here. I had a look at the writing. It didn't mean anything to me at the moment, so I shall go and look it up later. That's it, really. Obviously, the CPU's here, the uh, heat pipe's here, the fan's here. Um, the notes you're going to need to know as to how to open it was the only tools that I needed was this plastic spludger here, which was from iFixit. And I used this pointy tool to get this, um, let me just show you, sorry, this metal shroud here off this uh, memory area here. So this metal shroud normally sits on top of there and it just, it it sits in with these little, little friction clips. So hopefully it's going to go back very easily. So how do you get the uh, machine apart? Here is the top. So this top would normally be on. You just undo all of these 10 screws. You don't need to uh, touch, there's, there's two rubber feet here. There's no, there's no hidden screws under these rubber feet. It's just the 10 screws on the back of the case. Now when I'd done that, the case was still absolutely rock solid. It didn't want to move. And the reason is because this is a, unfortunately a plastic case with lots of interlocking components here. And that's why you need to very carefully with this iFixit, other spludges are available, plastic spludger, go around the edge of the case. Um, so don't do what I did because I haven't got any replacement upgrade components, but I wanted to have a look first to check that actually given me the right battery. Um, but I would order, you know, the upgraded NVMe drive, the upgraded memory, for example, before you open the case because these little plastic fiddly bits are liable to break off. And whilst you'll still be able to hold the case firm to the actual body of the laptop, it won't be quite as rigid if any of those little plastic little buggers break off. So that's it. This is, don't forget, this is in the UK, this is about a 600 GBP laptop before I started adding the warranty. Um, and... Uh, yeah, very pleased so far. Um, just look at the, the final important touch are the screw lengths. You'll notice that at the bottom there are four there are four there are four screws here. 
on the bottom row. And you'll notice I've put them in the right order because they are slightly shorter. The four screws at the bottom here are slightly shorter. The, the screws at the top and in the middle are longer. So put the right screws in the right places. Okay, so I'm gonna reassemble the laptop again. Let's just make sure you've got an absolutely in focus point there. I'm gonna reassemble the laptop and think about what I would need to order to do a minor upgrade. Um, my principal thoughts would be for the NVMe drive I did a small one which I planned to upgrade all the time. Okay, Diary, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.